Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your you and them reading. This is going to be a reading for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And the person that you have most on your mind, so the person that you're hoping, wishing, desiring to connect with, have previously connected to in current connection or will be connecting with in the future for May 2022 or whenever you are drawn to this reading. It is general, so take what resonates for your situation. Leave behind what simply does not. Feel free to check your moon, rising, Venus signs for you, Capricorn, or the person on your mind. If you are unsure or unaware which other planetary placements are, there is a link in my description box to a three-day calculator that can help you suss out that information. To all my returning Capricorn subscribers and viewers, I just want to give a shout out of love and gratitude for your continued support and interaction on the channel. If you're new, welcome. I am India Kassirian House of Tarot, and I am very pleased to have you here with us today. That being stated, let's go ahead and jump into your reading. I want to take just a moment and take note that Capricorn, I want to apologize. My recording schedule for this week has been significantly delayed. So in order to kind of move things along and get these readings out to you before the end of the week, I went ahead and drew the cards before the beginning of this reading. If this is not something that you particularly enjoy or prefer and you would like to see the cards come out, there are other readings, plenty of them, on my channel where you can watch those kind of readings. That being stated, let's go ahead and look at your overall energy at this time, Capricorn, and see what's coming through. All right, you are coming through at this time with the Two of Swords. So what this is telling me is that you are at a bit of a crossroads, at a conundrum at this moment in time, but you're at a precipice. And a decision of choice needs to be made here. There could be something that you're not seeing in this very moment. Something that you may feel that you are be that's being hidden from your view. Or that you're just simply not sure of. This is an energy of maybe needing to get additional information before you're able to make a decision or move forward in any way. The person that you have on your mind, Capricorn, <laughs> is coming through with the devil. Which is absolutely your energy. So this person has you in their overall energy. All right, so very interesting energy coming through there. Let's take a look at your hidden energy at this time. Or subconscious energy. You have coming through with the strength card. This is the card of Leo. Now some of you may be connecting with the Leo, but doesn't have to be. So when I'm getting this card, uh, Capricorn, this is an energy that tells me that a bit you are a bit refrained at this moment. So... There is something that for a lot of you, instinctually, you want to act towards. There's something that's a kind of like a, um, a driving force that you may be tempering at this moment. So, and I get this image, I'm getting an image of, you know, putting bridle on passion. So, kind of, you know, tampering it down, clamping it down. So, there's a bit of energy of refrain here. There's something that is driving you forward or driving you crazy that you do want to act upon, that you do want to say or do or speak here um, again that you are actually not doing at this moment so this is an energy of refrain i'm picking up so there again there's a decision or action at this moment in time that you are facing but you are taking your time you're not allowing your emotions to get the best of you you are being refrained very cautious i'm getting at this moment so let's take a look at your person they are coming through with the justice card libra energy so some of you may be connecting with the libra but does not have to be. So again, this is all about, again, with, with, with a decision, a choice. This is weighing the pros and cons of the situation, trying to do the right thing, trying to make the right decision. That's best for everybody in a situation. So what I am getting here, Capricorn, with your person is they, you know, they may know um, subconsciously, they may know at this moment in time that you are kind of weighing the option, weighing the choices here. And I'm getting drawn to the fact that in, in three of these depictions, the eyes are covered. So there's definitely something that you, your person, just has not been able to see clearly at this point in time. So let's catch the energy between you and your person. All right, so we have, again, the Eight of Swords and the eyes are, again, covered. So there is this energy of being blind and therefore being stuck. So there's something that you both are wanting, wanting to do, wanting to pursue here, but there's this energy of feeling stuck or trapped because there's something that's not being shown or not being known at this time. So let's see the situation, the challenge that, or challenge that some of you may be facing. 
So we have the two of wands coming through. We have the queen of pentacles. And we have the ace of swords. Very beautiful. All right. So what I am getting, um, very quick, very specific message. We're looking at, again, choice, a decision, a new path, a new journey has opened up. Some of you may not see this path forward at this moment. What is being looked at is, you know, and being considered here is the possibility for long-term future, long-term stability, long-term partnership, something that you can give your energy to, nurture, and will be rewarding that will bring in a sense of accomplishment and peace in this situation. What is needed, of course, is the Ace of Swords, which is, you know, honesty, integrity, and the truth, truthful new beginning, was truthful new start. But there is an energy of needing to have clear-cut communication or find out a truth here, to find the truth of what you cannot see for it to be revealed. Very interesting energy. We're going to go ahead now and take a look at your person, the person that you have on your mind. Again, guys, I'm going to remind you really quick to please only take the messages that you're being called to that is really kind of sticking out. So use your intuition, use your discernment as these messages are coming through. Be patient because we will have a mixture from exes and new persons as well as you know current persons and future persons coming in here. We will and have been seeing a lot of ex energy at this time. And of course, we are in metro... Rec Yep, <laughs> we are in Mercury retrograde. There we go. So don't be surprised here um, to see a lot of X energy at this time. All right, so we have the timing just wasn't right for us. So some of you may have a person coming back into your energy that you may or may not have been able to connect with in the past because the timing wasn't right. So this person may be feeling that the possibility is now. So this person may be coming back in and you may not be too sure about them and they may not be completely positive of how you're going to take this interaction because there's something that you're not seeing. There's something that just doesn't feel quite aligned in this situation. There's a sense of distrust. Again, there's, there's truthful communication that will clear this up, but there is this energy of not feeling quite positive in this situation. Again, there was a timing issue that either prevented you guys from being able to come together or prevented this connection from really taking shape, taking form, or being able to work out the time. I do feel like the energy that I'm picking up with this with this card, that for a lot of you, though, or this was a, a short term, a slow burn or a fast burn, excuse me, I'm getting fast burn connection where things just were, there was a lot of chemistry, there was a lot of passion, there was a lot of desire, there was a... Definitely a lot of feelings involved in this situation, but despite best, best efforts, you guys could not move this forward. All right, so we have a, something coming in that says, I regret lying to you. So again, this could be somebody, this can, this can fit the bill for all, all parties here, whether this is somebody new, somebody past, somebody present, or somebody in the future. I would hope that the person in the future would not lie to you, but um, you know, here what I get is somebody does regret telling a lie. That may have affected this connection in a negative or a slightly, I'm getting discolored way, meaning that they're per, this person with a slightly discolored way. And what I'm feeling is this put doubt into your mind. Capricorn, this person, maybe lie wasn't significant, but it was a lie none the same. And this put doubt in your mind about whether or not this person was trustworthy, whether this is somebody that you could. You now rely on or trust in the future. Their integrity was called into balance. And this may be something that you are judging them on. And maybe this would be a reason why some of you cannot move this forward at this time because you need to see, to see more. There's a sense of distrust there now. All right, so we definitely have someone coming through saying, I look for you everywhere. So my beautiful Capricorns, this is somebody who is definitely enthralled with your energy enthralled with you specifically they enjoy spending time with you they enjoy hearing your sound of your voice they enjoy your laughter they enjoy the time spent together whether that is i'm hearing you know speaking on the phone speaking on text message instant messengers spending time together face to face uh you know what it doesn't matter but i hear it doesn't matter what i do with my capricorn i just love being in their presence 
So when you are apart from this person, when this person walks into a room, arrives down the street, walks into a store, they instinctively look around for you. Uh, they're always constantly searching for you. Now, this can be an energy of an ex who is constantly kind of perusing the situation, hoping, desiring to run into you. And then we have finding out the truth crushed me. All right. So there could have been something for some of my Capricorns. I'm, I'm going to, I'm already coming to this that has recently happened in a connection uh, where there was hurt and pain caused by a truth that came out. Now it could have been about a past situation, a situation that didn't involve them, but it did involve you or vice versa. But there is a situation where something came to light that crushed them. For others of you, I am hearing this is this misconnection where you both tried to kind of bring this together in the past one way or another. And I'm also getting for some of you, this was a situation where you both liked each other, but neither told the other. And one of you waited for an extremely long time, hoping and hoping and desiring like, like the feelings, this person's feelings would become known that, you know, to be together. And neither one of you spoke on it. And now some time has passed and this person's finding out either through a third party or in some kind of other way that you actually did have feelings for them and wanted to pursue things with them. And they missed that opportunity. And it kind of crushed their, their, their will there for a moment because they were completely like, I could have had my shot with Capricorn then and I missed it is what I'm hearing. All right, we have, I know I crossed the line with you. So again, this is somebody who is acknowledging that they messed up. They messed up. They, they, they messed up big time. They crossed the boundary. They crossed the line. They crossed some type of, bound, uh, of I'm hearing, they, they, they crossed my, I'm hearing, I crossed my Capricorn for the very last time. So I feel like this is somebody who did something so so offensive to you, Capricorn, that you cut them off um, immediately. There was immediate repercussions for this person. And I do feel like you're going to hear from this person. They're going to come in. They, they know they're going to be judged, right? But they're coming in to, to bring peace or clarity or communicate to try to heal this with you. Yep. I know I messed everything up. Again, this could apply from a past situation to a current situation where they know that things got out of hand, they crossed the line, they lied, they got asked up for some of you, this could be all connected, for some of you it's going to be um, individual messages, but this is somebody who's acknowledging that they messed up, they regret what they did, and they want to kind of make things right. This could be, again, another why things are stuck with this connection. All right, so I want to feel that way again, and I'm hearing they feel very magical, very beautiful in your energy. They feel very strong and secure. Uh, this could be, again, any any of the scenarios, whether this is past, present, future, person, current as well. What I am getting from this is this person has never felt this way with anybody else. You bring them a level of alive. You bring them a level of comfort, of security, of value that they have not felt or existed within another connection, whether that is past or previous to you. They want to feel that happiness with you again. They want to have those butterflies. They want to have that security. For some of you, this is an ex who's gone out there looking for it in every person that they have come across and have never found the peace that they had with you. I want to tell you how I feel. So I am getting with this message, my beautiful Capricorns, that you have somebody here. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is this new somebody, okay? Okay who is digging you, who likes you, who cares about you. Some of you may be dating for a little bit. This person wants to tell you um, that they love you. So others of you, they, they want to tell you that they're attracted to you, that they like you, they want to pursue this with you. For others of you, this is an ex that wants to come in and confess their feelings, their emotions, their desires, what they're wanting to hopefully pursue with you. And this again could be your future person wanting to find you, wanting to have that love uh, and that expression. In their lives and last but not least my my life is not as together as it seems so I feel like this is for those of you Capricorns are keeping an eye 
on a past person. Okay. And this past person that I am picking up total third party vibes with this. So this is somebody who's in another connection at this very moment in time. So you guys would be in separation. They may be with somebody else or they could be with their group of friends I'm hearing. But what I'm seeing is you're viewing a picture where you think you've got the total, the total view here. But what you're getting is the mass that's being presented to the world. Things are not as they seem, period. They are not as, they're not they're not as they seem at all. There's a lot going behind behind that canvas that you are not seeing with your person. And your person is coming to get and said and coming in Capricorn and saying, Do not be hurt, do not be fooled by the picture that you are seeing. This is a mask that I am wearing to hide from the world, from you, from everyone, how I'm truly feeling. Everything is not as good as what what is being presented. So that's a very interesting message for you. All right, so we do have religious factors coming through. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Now, for some of you, this is going to be a nod to soulmates, twin flame, connections, and journeys. Not all of you are on that journey or that path. For those of you who are, this is confirmation that this is your twin flame or your soulmate. That has kind of caused you guys to come together and be pulled apart. Now, for others of you, this can be very much indicating that your religious values, your moral upbringing, your, you know, your goals, uh, <clears throat> even I'm getting some family traditional ways, may be impacting your connection at this time, may have impacted it in the past. You guys may have been on different pages, wanted different things at different times, which could have caused a timing issue for some of you or could be causing issues currently in your current connection. We are getting make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're being guided to take. So I feel like this is for those of you that are in current connection where things are difficulty, the road and path ahead is rocky and you're really not sure whether or not you can invest any more time or energy into the situation. Um, you have been, for those of you that that's gonna resonate with, and this is specifically for these persons um, that you have steps they have a plan there is already guidance available for you and your person to maybe you guys are seeing a, 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 a marriage counselor or relationship counselor or you know taking a seminar or a class that I'm specifically hearing where there is actually already documented to proof or documented situations that you're currently engaged in where you may be kind of questioning whether or not you really want to put in the effort you are being guided to go ahead and take those effort, take those steps. And that is only going to apply to you, to any of you that actually has those things already in place. If they're not in place or you're in a situation that is not healthy or safe, of course, do not pursue. I'm hearing do not pursue anything that is toxic in nature. All right. So then we have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So this is about being open. Being mindful to your energy, to the, your person's energy that is opposite to you. This is about making sure that you're not closing yourself off due to past hurts or past pains. If you feel like you are being too guarded or you got walls extremely high, if it's being asked for you to kind of take a step back and look at where that, that defense mechanism is coming in and why it's there. I'm not saying not to be cautious or be careful because, of course, you know, you're going to want to proceed with any new situation or even any old situation with caution. But there is a difference between proceeding with caution and being completely, you know, defensive and armor up. So if you've kind of been in that situation where you've been armored up, they're wanting you to take a look at, at that. Why is that armor there? What are you protecting yourself from? Is this person triggering this in you? Is there a reason that they've caused this reaction or are you being reactatory to something that already transpired and is no longer there? So it's kind of taking a look back and saying, okay, why am I doing this? So this is the question they want you to ask is why do I feel the need to do this? And if it's not directly coming from your specific person, so the person that's opposite you, the person that you're questioning, trying to date in a relationship with, However that looks for you, if it's not that specific person, but it's caused by some past person, past situation, even I'm hearing family situation, it's now time to take a look at that a lot deeper 
do some shadow work around that. So looking to see where and why you know, and understanding it, find forgiveness for yourself if you feel like you played a part in bringing that or that maybe, you know, that you maybe need to look at when I say forgiveness for yourself, that sometimes we seem to hold ourselves like if I would have been smarter, if I would have, you know, paid more attention, you know, to fill in the blank there, if I would have, um, they're wanting you to find forgiveness for yourself for that. And they want you to open up your heart space, break down those walls so that love can, an honest love can flow into you. Um, if love cannot come through, if, if, you know, an honest love cannot come through if you are guarded against it. And then last but not least, yeah, and, and that makes sense, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you will experience more love in your present moments. So again, this is about forgiveness. Um, and sometimes that's not the very easiest thing to do, and I do understand that completely and wholeheartedly. All right, Capricorn, we're now going to move into taking a look at the spiritual jukebox and see what songs are coming through. I have selected, I think there's like 10-ish songs here. Now, this is where your intuition and your discernment will definitely be needed. Only take a song if you are being guided and called to it. So it will stick out. It will, you will feel more connection to that than any of the other songs being named or being shown. If you are connecting with this, there is going to be a, a link at the end of this video to the spiritual jukebox playlist that you, where you can easily find these uh, messages. If you're, if you're not connected to any of them, that is okay. Um, these are just specifically coming through for a hand select few of you. All right, so we have Ocean Eyes by Billie Eilish. Hold On by Wilson Phillips. Dancing on My Own, Callum Scott. Far Away, Nickelback. Rescue, Hunter Hayes. Back for Good, Take That. I'll Be, Edwin McCain. Perfect, Ed Sheeran. Listen to Your Heart by Roxette. And You Are the Reason, Callum Scott and Leanna Lewis, or you can just look up uh, you are the reason by Callum Scott. Either one will work, just depending on which one you are feeling more called to. Same song, different versions. Or, yeah, same song, just different. One is with, one is done by by Callum Scott alone, and the other one is with featuring Leona Lewis. All right, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and pull the letters. As you can see, we have quite a few here. This can be your person's first, last middle initial it could spell out their name could have some other you know spelling or significance to your connection take it as it resonates for you we have n coming through we have w we have u we have q we have g we have f we have a we have H, Q, S, and R coming through. So I, what I'm seeing is, let's see what I come up with here. I see fun. I see sun, so it could be a Leo. I'm here, I'm seeing hag. Um, I don't know if that's going to have any re relevance. I'm hearing wag, so some could have someone could have a dog. Fan. Run. So we could have a runner. Somebody who runs. Okay, I'm hearing Pacific names, so I'm going to run through them really quick. I keep hearing Gwen. Gwen came through the strongest. I'm hearing Adam, Henry, Harry, Sam, Samantha, 
Alpha. Raymond or Ray. Floyd. Garrett. Ashton. Neil. Winston, and that's all that's coming through, guys, at this time. So, if there's any of those names resonated, if you guys are seeing anything that I don't see, um, take it as a sign in synchronicity. Otherwise, that is all, unfortunately, I have for you guys at this time. Please be sure to let me know in the comment box down below if this reading resonated with you or simply just to say hello. If you have not yet done so, please be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, the notification bell. We would love to have you part of the Cassarian Soul family if you have not yet joined. To all my beautiful Capricorn subscribers, again, much love and gratitude to each and every one of you. I will see you in your next reading. Much love. Namaste. Bye for now.